first topic we're going to cover in Physics 2A is not actually a physics topic, but rather a mathematical topic. Specifically, we are going to be discussing vectors, which some of you may have already encountered in your math classes. We're starting here because most of the physics ideas we discuss in this course can only be expressed using the language of vectors. So what is a vector? A vector is a quantity incorporating a numerical value and a direction. In a little bit, I'll be giving you some examples of vector quantities, but first I'd like to discuss how we would represent a vector on the page. Okay. Suppose we would like to represent a vector quantity graphically. To represent a vector quantity graphically, you draw an arrow, the pointy end of the arrow is referred to as the tip of the vector. The other end is called the tail. Now let's say that we want to use a letter of the alphabet to represent the vector. So I might use the letter A, for example. But if I'm going to use a letter of the alphabet to represent a vector quantity, I must put an arrow on top of the letter. So the letter A with an arrow on top is a perfectly good way to represent a vector symbolically. If I do not have the arrow there and I just have the letter A by itself, it means something else entirely as we will see later. So that would be wrong. If you wish to represent a vector symbolically, you have a letter of the alphabet and it must have an arrow on top. All right, now what would be some examples of vector quantities? Well, suppose somebody asked you how to get to El Camino College. Let's say this is El Camino College here. Somebody asked you how to get from El Camino College to the Manhattan Beach Pier. It's the Manhattan Beach Pier. If someone asks you how to get from El Camino College to the Manhattan Beach Pier, what might you tell them? You might tell them to get on Manhattan Beach Boulevard and drive about five miles to the west. This is an example of what we call a displacement vector. A displacement vector is a distance such as five miles plus a direction such as driving to the west. Okay, so that's a displacement vector. Here's another example. Suppose you are a meteorologist describing the wind. You might say that the wind is blowing from Northwest to Southeast, let's put some compass directions in there. So you might say the wind is blowing from Northwest to Southeast. So, and that the wind speed is 20 miles per hour. This is an example of what we call a velocity vector. A velocity vector is a speed such as 20 miles per hour together with a direction such as northwest to southeast. Okay, so now we have learned how to, uh, we've learned what a vector is. We've learned how to represent it graphically with an arrow. We've learned how to represent it symbolically with a letter of the alphabet and an arrow on top. You've seen a couple examples of vector quantities. And in the next video, we're going to be looking at some of the basic mathematical operations we can perform on vectors.